Okay, I found a new cellar hole today. It looks like it has been used as a trash dump. You can see an old car right up there. Let's go take a look. There's some trash in here, some old bottles. You can see them right here. Yep, well, it's not too old, but yep. Prohibition era stuff. Uh, there's the old car right here. Wow, that's pretty cool. So this one here is older because it wasn't on the map. That looks like an imprint of a cellar hole right in here. So we're gonna give this uh, place a good shellacking and see what we can find. I did dig some uh, ox shoes already, so definitely in the right area. Get back. This will give you. you an idea of the age of this place. So that tree has actually grown into the side of this wagon wheel assembly crazy look at that so it's been here a long time pretty excited right now we'll see what we can get hopefully i can get some goodies talk okay. to you later yeah this place is definitely untouched because uh there's lots of targets um this here i appears to be part of a snapple bit so, I'm really excited right now. <laughs> Let's see what else we can get. I'm really psyched right now. I, this place has not been hit. So, I'm really excited. All right. Onward and forward. That little bugger there was uh, literally right on the surface. Pardon the jet going over. A little, uh, little button, cuff button, or maybe it's just a shirt button. It was right on the surface. So I literally scratched it up right there. I mean, it was only like a, not even an inch. Crazy. We'll take that for sure. I'm gonna keep going. All right, I got something there. It's uh, broken right here. It's some sort of key though. It's iron. Not sure what that is. It went to something though. Got it right down in there. So we'll have to do some research on that. Figure out what it was, what it was used for. Okay, we'll keep going. Okay, can you see it? I'm not sure if it's a coin or a button or just a piece of junk. It looks like it could be a coin. It's right there. Let's see what it is. Ooh, that's got something on it. See that? Coin? No, it's a button. The shank's broken off. Hmm. I have to clean that up. That looks like it might have some sort of historical significance. Hmm. I'll have to clean that up and show it to you. That's really cool. Wow. Wow, look at that. Look at that. That's got a bird or an eagle or something on it. Definitely a button. Big button. Wow. Showed up like a weedy. We'll have to clean that up. That's awesome. It always amazes me how good these things sound sometimes. On these ox shoes. I mean, they scream at you. Oh well. Keep going. Alright, I got something down there. It's round. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but let's dig that together. Find out. Let me just be trash. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna pop that right out of there. There it is. Oh. Old door, old brass doorknob. That's what it is. There's a lot of stuff in here. A lot of stuff. I'll be here all day. All right, well, uh, as long as I continue to dig stuff, I'll keep bringing it to you. Good luck out there. Well, there sure is a lot of trash here, I'll tell you that. I think what happened was they used this place as a dump long after the original home site either burnt or basically was lost to time lots of targets in here though because i got this right here you see the green yeah oh yeah look at that look at that not sure what that thing was hmm. well 
it's neat. I'll take it. All right, looks like I got a horse rosette. At least that's what it looks like from here. Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm not really sure. It's shiny. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure, but we're going to find out. All right. Okay, I got what looks like a coin or a button right here. Let's see uh, what it is here. Oh, can't really see it very well. Might have something on it. I don't know. It's really caked. I'll have to clean it up and uh, and see. Mm, I don't know. It looks like it might be good. Not sure. Well, we'll figure it out. Glad dime. Got something right there. Looks old. Oh, she's caked. She's caked. I think it's an Indian head. Uh, can't see it at all. There we go, she finally focused. That's caked, big time. I think it's an Indian head though, I think I can see a wreath on there. We'll have to clean that, try to clean it up, I don't know. Yeah, oh well, okay, well we're gonna take it. All right, got some kind of a piece of, big piece of something, it gave a big sig. That might be a horse rosette. It's a big one, but I think that's what it is. Yep, there it is. There's the two attachments on the back. See them? One there, one there. Came up and over. Horse rosette. Just a plain Jane one, but... Yeah, it's always a good uh, habit to continue to check for these little critters along the way. Because they're still everywhere. Even in the fall time. Yep. Yeah, I'll take it one step further. If you can, avoid walking through this shit right here. These, these yellow viney, little viney plants. I'm not sure exactly what type of plant that is. But um, that's where you pick them up, is walking through that. They uh, hang out in there. and Any kind of thick vegetation like that. I mean, sometimes you can't avoid it, but uh, if you have to walk through it, chances are you're going to have those little buggers on you. So, word to the wise. Tip of the day. Well, I think either this uh, dump over here by the cellar hole had been dug. Doesn't actually look dug. It looks like a bunch of kids smashed um, quite a bit of it. I did manage them. Um, this is broken, but it's an amber beer mug. Uh, you don't typically see these in amber, so I thought that was pretty cool. It's broken. I'll probably leave it, and I did get one blown ink well right there. It's in pretty good shape. So... Oh well, I'm gonna keep going. Red-headed woodpecker up there. Pecking away on a tree. Huh. Pretty cool out here in the woods, man. Waiting for him to rail that tree again. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy, no one's looking. Just me. Let that tree have it. <laughs> there he goes. That's cool. I love it. Out and here. right down there, 
I got a Crota Bell. At least that's what I think it is. Sure is. Cool. Oh, it looks like it might be broken. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Still cool fine right there. Nice. I'll definitely take that, even broken. Well, cool. I'm fairly certain that um, that's a lock, an old lock. Sure looks that way. Kind of a weird shape, but that's what it is. I guess that's going to be a good candidate for uh, electrolysis. That's a nice find. I hope it cleans up okay. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I love old locks. That's great. Good stuff. All right, can you see it down there? Look at the pinpointer. That's uh, got to be nine inches, roughly. Maybe a little bit more. See it down there? Right in here. It's a crotal bell. Little baby one. Look at that. That was deep. Man, that barely gave a sound. Probably nine to 10. It was right at the bottom of the hole. Awesome. Well, looks like I found the key to the house. <laughs> yeah, sure did. She's a good one too, good old one. Look at that. Oh man, good day. Good day today. Nice old key there. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, just a quick wrap up of what I found um, at that old cellar hole in the surrounding area. Um, I think I did pretty good, I had fun. Lots of relics, lots of cool relics. Um, some weird stuff as well. I got the two buttons there. Um, this is a Phoenix button from the Oregon Territory. It's got some pretty significant history. It's a pretty cool button, I guess. Got that. Um, and I got this eagle button that's pretty toasted. You can hardly see it's an eagle button. Let me see if I can get any. Well, you can see it. Both those buttons are probably around the 1820s. Yeah, that, you, yeah it's, a, it's in pretty bad shape. But, you know, I dug some other stuff. Uh, doorknob, some buckles, an old key, some crotal bells. Um, this here, <clears throat> I thought was neat. So, a lot of times we find these things. They're like a, it's so, some sort of a brass rivet or whatever. But this is what they went to. I think this comes off of a wagon. I dug it with the original wood, and those are the rivets inside there. So, just wanted to reference that for you. They've come off of a tool or part of a wagon. I'm not sure. I was digging a lot of wagon and horse related items. I dug the this right here, which is a brass snaffle bit, I believe, a horse bit, you know, and I dug the crotal bells, which are also related. So it's possible. I dug a rosette, two rosettes actually right here. One big one and one smaller one. Uh, that's a bull ring. Uh, yeah, and some other things, an old key to the house. and. This lock is awesome. I have already started cleaning that. Um, I'm going to do a video of how I've actually learned a quicker way to clean iron. You combine two different methods that are commonly used to clean iron. So I'll, we'll do another video on that. But I've already started cleaning that. And it's coming out real nice. It's not done yet. Um, you can still see there's some rust left on it. But we're going to continue to work on that. And um, yeah, so I did well. Those are all wheat pennies. That's actually, a ch don't ask me how this got out there, but it's a Chuck E. Cheese token from 1982. <laughs> I don't know, who God knows. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I had fun, and uh, hope everybody's getting out. A couple of musket balls. I'm not sure what this is. This is a key that went to something. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, 